One thing that frustrates me both in the business and especially the sports world, which you could say is the business world because sports are a business just like any other business. One thing that really frustrates me is when I see an organization panic. And I see an organization overreact, get in a rush, get in a hurry, and potentially put themselves in a bad position and in a bad way for the next several years to come. And in particular, when you look at sports, like let's say pro basketball with the NBA, you see where players are restricted free agents, meaning that you have the right ultimately to match any offer that they get. But nobody really comes calling almost that first week of free agency and there are no official offers made, yet you decide to go ahead and negate your leverage. You decide to not let the process play out. You decide that even though salary cap space for all these teams is starting to dwindle, that you want to make a knee-jerk reflex reactionary statement by saying, by God, we're going to pay this guy X, Y, and C, damn it all. And I understand when you are in certain markets in the NBA that you may have to overpay to keep guys or keep guys happy or really overpay in the free agent market in order to ultimately lure them in. But there's a difference between slightly overpaying because it's a necessary cost of doing business and undercutting yourself and overextending yourself and overstretching yourself and ultimately you know, setting yourself back by costing yourself a bunch of money unnecessarily. If you don't have to spend this amount of money and you, can only, you only have to spend this amount of money, why would you force yourself to have to spend that much money? Why not just spend this much money? It doesn't make any sense. So when I see what the Detroit Pistons have decided to do, which basically in a lot of ways is damn near give Reggie Jackson, yeah, that guy, a freaking max contract that was $80 million over five years? I ask, what the hell are they doing? We did not hear one report of anybody being seriously interested in this guy. We did not hear one report of this guy getting anywhere close to an offer, let alone an official offer made. But all of a sudden, the Detroit Pistons have decided that they want to make a statement that a guy who spent a good portion of his career as a role player, who only recently became a starter based off a situation and circumstance that he was put into, but has shown himself to be at best, at least at this stage of his career, an average starter in the NBA is worth damn near max contract money. This is insanity. This is the type of shit that these executives, especially in the NBA, freaking do that just fuck the market all to hell. It's like if you're at an auction and it's going up in $5 increments and you sit there and get to $100 and you panic, you're like, oh, I'm fucking bored. I want it so bad. I'm going to bid $1,000. So you just went $900 above what the current market price was, even though the auction wasn't finished. All the while not knowing that maybe the person that or two people that are trying to bid with you will only go up to 150 or 200 So you could have potentially spent $700, $800 less to get the same damn thing. You outbid yourself. You bid against yourself because you're stupid. And to me, the Detroit Pistons are stupid. It's one thing if you give max contract money to a guy that is a borderline all-star, as I've talked about before. He's not an alpha male, but he's close to it. He's a guy that can maybe average 18 to 19 a game, influences other areas of your team. But a Reggie Jackson's not that type of guy, and who's to say that he ever becomes that guy? You're paying max money, damn near, to a guy who may still long-term at the NBA level, even for your Detroit Pistons organization sometime in the next couple of years, be best suited to come off of the bench as a fucking sixth man. 
These are the type of dumb dick contracts that throw the entire market and salary structure of the NBA into complete fucking fuck flux. Basically. I mean, holy Christ. Was there an official offer? According to all reports, nobody had made an offer. So for all you know, this guy could have sat there and only been looking to get maybe 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 million a year from one of these other teams. Why not wait, since you had the power to match an offer, why not wait to match an offer? And if somebody sits there and says, we want to pay him 80 over 5 and you decide you just have to have him, and you match that offer, that's what you structured these contracts for for your NBA front offices, even though it was Oklahoma City that was part of this when they drafted Reggie Jackson, da, da, da. While it would still be bad, it wouldn't be as bad because at least somebody else was willing to pay the guy that much. So you could sit there and say that the market dictated that this was what the guy was worth because somebody else was willing to pay it. And then you decided to match it because while you thought it was overpaying them, at least you were saying oh, we're bidding against somebody else and we we're having a match. We're not having to go above or anything like that. But no, the Detroit Pistons decided to bid against themselves and outbid themselves for, frankly, in my opinion, no fucking reason. What did Reggie Jackson do that was so spectacular to sit there and say that he was worth this type of money to where you're basically making the statement that he's your franchise player? <clears throat> Never mind the fact that when the Pistons truly played their best last season, it was with Brandon Jennings running the show and doing all of this shit and basically winning a lot of these games for the team, carrying him on his freaking back. Now it leaves the question of what the hell you're going to do with Brandon Jennings when he comes back from injury this season. You're going to try and play both of these guys together? <laughs> Good freaking luck to you. And then when you hear this shit of, well, the salary cap's going to explode in overall number next year because of the additional TV revenue, that still doesn't mean that you need to go spend all of this money unnecessarily. That's stupid. Completely and totally stupid. I don't care if you're Detroit or not. This is unnecessary dumb shit. It really truly is. Just because other people want to go crazy and spend all this money doesn't mean you have to. And just because the market could change in a couple of years doesn't mean that it's changed right now. So why outbid yourself? Why sit there and do any of this shit? Go offer Reggie Jackson five years, 60 million. Pay him 12 million a year instead of 16 million a year. He turns it down, okay. Then give him a two-year deal with the second year having a player option. Pay him 14, 15 million dollars a year. Still less than what you're paying him over the span of five freaking years. Therefore, you see what he could do with another year in the fold to get another year to kind of figure it out because he doesn't necessarily have the best reputation for in terms of being a guy to deal with and being coachable and being somebody that could fit into the team chemistry going back to his time in Oklahoma City. You get another trial run. You get another year to figure it out. If you want to keep him around for another year and pay him a lot of money but it's only one year, then it's something that could be mutually beneficial potentially for both parties. And then where you could hit unrestricted free agency where he might still give you an opportunity as being the Detroit Pistons to see if you want to match that offer or go above and beyond that offer because he likes the situation or he likes the fact that maybe you could pay him more money, especially if you have any form of his bird rights at that point in time. They have tied into an average NBA starter $16 million fucking dollars a year. The NBA is run by a bunch of fucking six-year-olds that just got $10 in their damn birthday card from their grandma and grandpa, and they can't go wait to spend it on some cheap-ass plastic toy at fucking Walmart that they'll break or lose interest in in three damn days. This is madness. And this is the type of crap that will ruin the freaking market even going forward, even with the salary cap due to explode that much. Because now you'll sit there because of somebody paying Reggie Jackson $16 million a year because they're dumbasses, an even lower level player is going to be able to get $20 million a year. And it's going to happen. So you're going to have all this extra money available. And no wiggle room to be able to fucking use it because these GMs and executives and owners are fucking stupid and can't control themselves.
And the worst thing of all, from a basketball standpoint, you're making your stand with Reggie Jackson? And good luck to you. Let me know how that goes, Motor City.